at our core why we're in the hospitality industry, it is to bring that joy. You know, it's, it's amazing to see. We have instant gratification in our restaurants to see somebody enjoying a dish that we create. There's no better place than the dinner table, whether that's in the restaurant or cooking a pot of pasta in your own home, having that moment of putting the screens down and being with, with people. And I think food is more than just flavor and culinary experience. It's about conversation and community and being together. This looks amazing. So good. Flower and Water opened in 2009, and since then we've been really, really fortunate. Quickly after opening, we realized the heart of our menu was gonna be our pasta program, and so we just started to elaborate on that. We built a dough room, it's where we produce all of our pastas for years and years until we outgrew it then had to move it down the street, and we've just expanded from there. And so Flower and Water Pasta Shop, where we start to sell all of our pastas retail. Flower and Water Hospitality Group is the name of our restaurant group that we have together. And now it oversees Penny Roma. We're relocating Flower and Water Pizzeria to a new flagship location in North Beach. And our latest venture is consumer packaged goods, so Flower and Water Pasta. Why we wanted to package our pasta, our restaurants are limited. We're really fortunate that they're super busy, but we can only touch a couple of hundred people a day. And so we wanted to expand our hospitality, but also expand our, our impact on the world. And so the big part of flour and water pasta is to have a say in regenerative agriculture. Regenerative farming, where you're sequestering carbon in the soil, helping fix climate change, is, is really what we as, as food professionals should be doing. Well, regenerative agriculture is all about the soil and the health of the soil and farming carbon within that. And so not only is it helping the environment, but it's enriching that soil to a point where it truly makes the food taste better. And since 2015, our restaurants have supported a nonprofit called Zero Foodprint, which helps convert different farms to regenerative practices. And we're actually the first packaged food good that's gonna support Zero Food Print as well through 1% of its sales. We love butter here at the restaurant. In fact, the, the sign out front's probably a little outdated and should say flour and butter and not flour and water. With our box pasta, there's only two ingredients. It's semolina flour and water and so when you're dealing with something that's so fundamental and, and simple, it's important that the quality of those ingredients is the top, and also how that, that wheat is farmed and where it's sourced. And so we're uh, sourcing exclusively from uh, North American grown Durham wheat for our semolina. And this pasta is created exactly like we do in our dough room, where it's extruded through bronze dyes that gives the pasta a ton of outside texture and texture is one of the most important characteristics of pasta. And then also it goes through this slow drying process so it's not brittle and every shape holds up when you cook an entire box. Yeah, and, and we didn't really realize when we were first researching how to, how to dive into this, some of the best wheat in the entire world is North American. And I think a lot of people don't really realize that. A lot of pasta will hail back to Italy and uh, certainly Southern Italy some of the best, if not the best, wheat is grown in North America. And so we're really, really proud that it's, a, it's an American product. It brought a tear to my eye the first time my daughter saw it on a shelf in, in Whole Foods. It's really, really cool. So good. So much so texture good. in the pasta. Peas, perfect. Pesto ties it all together. I love it. I love the texture and how it grips that sauce. Nice job. So good.